Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, we will discuss about source transformation. So friends, actually source transformations are used for the simplification of the complex circuitry by transforming an independent current sources into in independent voltage source sources or the independent voltage sources into independent current sources. Here the first rule. If we want to convert a current source into a voltage source. So basically in practical current sources the resistance is in parallel. So we can say that a current source and a parallel resistance can be replaced by a voltage source and a series resistance but here the value of voltage which is replaced here is equals to i into r i is the current current of the current source and r is the parallel resistance and voltage source v is equals to i into r and the series resistance here keep in mind uh, that this resistance is kept as it is now the second transformation is a voltage source and a series resistance can be replaced by a current source and a parallel resistance as you can see in this diagram the voltage source and uh, its series resistance is replaced by a current source and a parallel resistance but here the value of current is also important and that uh, value is actually given by i is equals to v upon r here v is the source voltage here and resistance is in series okay so i is equals to v upon r and again uh, to that uh, current source this resistance is is, is in parallel what will happen if the current sources are connected in parallel so let us take the example if they are connected like like this a current source if two current sources are there the first one is pro providing the current of i1 and second one is providing the current of i2 then the resultant current i will be equal to i1 plus i2 here you can say the, uh, see this that uh, the direction of these two currents are equal and uh, at this node definitely these two currents get added therefore the resultant current will be equal to i1 plus i2 the another combination may be the current sources are having the opposite direction if 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 uh, current sources are connected in parallel and uh, they are having the opposite direction then what will happen to so, uh, here the resultant current will be i is equals to i1 minus i2 or it can be i2 minus i1 whichever uh, whichever current will be greater will have the impact on the resultant current what if the current sources are connected in series here one should note that the current sources should not be connected in series because it will be the violation of KCL because in KCL we generally adds the current or subtract the current depending on the direction of the current uh, which are coming through the different branches. The next topic is the voltage sources in parallel again here the problem will be if two unequal voltages if two uh, unequal ideal voltage sources are connected in parallel so it is not allowed and it, it is allowed only if they are having the same voltage for example if we are connecting a voltage source uh, of 10 volt and another of 5 volt such a combination now this is 10 volt and another combination is 5 volt and if they are connected in parallel this type of combination is not allowed because here these two are the unequal voltages so here the 5 volt supply will act as a short circuit here and if it is short circuited definitely 
allah huge amount of current will flow through this and definitely it is resulting in the zero voltage across this terminal so two unequal voltages should not be connected in parallel but if if these two voltages are equal for example here we are using a 10 volt battery supply here if these two ideal voltage sources are connected in parallel then the resultant voltage source will be equal to 10 volt here they will not get added or they will either subtracted here one should note that the resultant voltage will be equal to the applied voltage now what if the voltage sources are connected in series if the voltage sources are connected in series like this if v1 and v2 are connected in series here the positive terminal of v1 is connected to the negative of v2 in such a uh, in such case we can apply kcl he, uh, kvl here definitely it will be second sign and this second sign definitely uh, we will consider either this positive or this positive therefore it will the resultant voltage will be v1 plus v2 but if two voltage sources are connected in such a way that they are connected like this the positive of v1 is connected to positive of v2 in such a case the resultant voltage v is equals to v1 minus v2 here you can see this that uh, the resultant voltage is v1 minus v2 so they will get subtracted for example if this is of 10 volt and v2 is of 5 volt then the resultant will be only 5 volt supply but what if an ideal voltage source and an ideal current source is connected in series like this if a current source of i ampere and voltage source of v old is connected in series then the voltage supply should be neglected if they are connected in series then voltage supply is neglected and only current i is flowing through the circuit like this so here definitely voltage is neglected but what if they are connected in parallel so here you can say that one current source and one voltage source are connected in parallel if they are connected in parallel here we should neglect the current source the current source will act as an open circuit and if they are if this is open circuit or only voltage source will remain here and we will get the resultant output as voltage source only and current source is neglected here like this we can have various combinations of voltages and uh, voltage sources and current sources and we will use these various combinations in the source transformation so thank you